Welp, it's over. The Wii U and 3DS no longer have online service. Now what? Now what? I knew the day would come eventually, I just can't believe it's already here. The Wii U and 3DS era is officially over. Nintendo no longer has anything to do with those consoles. And as sad as it is that Nintendo has discontinued the eShop and the online service, there are some silver linings here. Not only have the services already been replaced with something practically better than the original, hopefully now that Nintendo is no longer having to maintain those two consoles, they'll focus more on improving the Switch's online, which hasn't always been the best. But something else to keep in mind. Nintendo only has one console right now, three different variants, but they're still the same system. And now that the Switch is currently the only system they're supporting, I think it is extremely likely that they will announce the next console sometime very soon. And that's something that a lot of people want. It seems like no one can wait until the next console finally releases. Except for me. Yeah, there are a lot of things you could improve about the Switch, but for the most part, it's practically the perfect console. It's pretty much everything that I want, but I still wouldn't want them to just leave it this way. There are some real improvements the Switch could use, but I don't feel like any of them truly justify revolutionizing an entire new console. What I would prefer is for Nintendo to just keep doing kind of what they did with the OLED, just keep improving it more and more over time. But I wouldn't want that situation to turn into an iPhone situation, where it's not really about improving them anymore, it's about selling more phones. By acting like they improved a lot, where in reality they've changed very little. What I'm trying to get to basically is that Nintendo could, if they wanted to, make a perfect console. Nintendo could keep improving the Switch until it would become pretty much flawless. And on paper, that sounds like a brilliant idea. Isn't the point of releasing new consoles to continue to make them better and better? So wouldn't making a perfect console be the end goal? No. Consoles do continue to be improved more and more over time. However, a perfect console is impossible. Nothing man-made is without flaw. There will always be an issue here and an issue there. And so we will never move beyond the need for a new system. We will always need a console with higher power, better controls, this or that. No matter how great a console is, the next one will always be better. But the success of the next console depends on whether or not there's much room for improvement in the first place and how much that improvement is truly needed. The reason we buy consoles is to play their games. So the only reason we need a new console is if it improves them, or if it allows for some games to even exist in the first place. There are loads of reasons why the Wii U was a flop, so I'm not going to list them all. That's not what this video is about. But one of them, I feel, was because none of the games, which is why we buy the console in the first place, really used the gamepad to its advantage. None of the games necessitated it, and any of the games that did use it didn't really need it, or it kind of just made them worse. Mario Maker is the only game that I can think of that is better because of the touchscreen. And while this obviously isn't the only reason the console flopped, I think it contributed to a lot of people just not really seeing a need for the console. And that's due to it really only having one improvement from the Wii, other than the gamepad, which is that it's more powerful. It allowed for HD graphics, it had a higher processing power which made a lot of bigger games possible. Without it, Pikmin 3 would not have looked as good as it does. And it allowed for a game like Splatoon to exist before the Switch came around. So I'm not complaining when I say the only good thing about it was that it had higher power. This is what I wish they would do with the Switch. Just release a different version of it that had more power. The problem is, it probably would not sell very well at all. A number of years ago, selling a console with the only upside being that it's more powerful would have worked. There were such extreme leaps in graphics back then. But nowadays, most all graphics look the same to me. I'm gonna be completely honest, I cannot really tell any difference between 30 to 60 frames per second. This just does not matter to me. Graphical upgrades just aren't as impressive as they used to be. I can only imagine what it would have been like seeing an N64 game for the first time, and then after that seeing a GameCube game. There is such an extreme difference in the graphics on these consoles. Meanwhile, most Wii U games look identical on the Switch. And I think most people will agree that graphics don't matter. But that is not what matters. Gameplay comes first. 
But that doesn't mean that I don't like good looking games. Luigi's Mansion 3, Metroid Dread, and Splatoon 3 have some of the greatest graphics of all Nintendo games ever. But that's not why I play these games. If they didn't look this good, I probably would still play them and probably enjoy them just as much. But graphics and game performance is something that does need to be upgraded every so often. However, I do think we are quickly approaching the max capacity for graphics. There's not really anything left to improve without improving real life. And even though the Switch has never been anywhere near the competition when it comes to its capabilities, I still don't think that a Switch Pro or a Switch 2, with the only upside being that it is more powerful, will ever work. There's going to have to be a different motivation or some other reason for why this console needs to exist. And for that, Nintendo usually uses some sort of a gimmick. Motion controls, a dual screen, a gamepad, 3D screen. But the greatest of them all, at least in my opinion, has been the Switch. A hybrid console, mobile and stationary. It is a brilliant concept and design and they executed it perfectly. And that's the problem. It is too... perfect. There's not anything that I can think of that I would add, other than more strength and maybe better controls, that would improve it. It is already a perfect gimmick. Anything else is just going to be a downgrade. Nintendo is in a very tight spot right now. If they change the next console too much and it's not a Switch anymore, that's only going to be a downgrade even if it has higher power. But if they don't really change it and all they do is improve its capabilities, I still don't think that's going to be enough to motivate the same amount of people to buy that console. And Nintendo, as much as we know right now, could lean either way. And knowing Nintendo, they could probably make either one work. Exclusive Mario and Pokemon games are more than enough to drive up sales even on a console that's less than optimal, but I do think the second option would be the best in the long run. And that is because the Switch is not only the successor of the Wii U, but also the 3DS. And the 3DS was nothing more than just an upgraded version of the DS. But I would still count it as a success, even with its only real upgrade being that it's stronger. And that was because the console fulfilled the only thing the console needed to fulfill, and that was to play games. And I think Nintendo has made their franchises so popular now, that as long as the next console has Mario Kart 9, Splatoon 4, Pokemon something or other, or The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Kingdom, it will not be a flop. But if those games don't take advantage of whatever that console is capable of, and they just feel like something you could have put on the Switch but they just didn't, that will upset me a little. And the reason I don't feel that way about the Switch, even though the majority of its games could very well run on the Wii U, because there are some games that need slightly stronger hardware, but mainly because it offers such a fun and convenient gimmick. The Switch fulfilled a need. Why is the PlayStation 2 the most sold console of all time? Most people will tell you, because it doubled as a DVD player, even though it was cheaper than a DVD player. It fulfilled two needs, and so it was a massive success. But the need the Switch fulfilled is a little bit loose, but I would say convenience. Being able to play any of the games I want anywhere that I want is so nice. But at the same time, I'm not limited to just a tiny little screen. I can still play the games on the TV normally just fine. It is the best of both worlds. It is the true successor of the Wii U and the 3DS. To boil it down, I just don't see many reasons why the next console should be a success other than some things that I don't think should be the reason. But at the same time, I don't have many reasons for why the console should flop. As always, I enjoy hearing what your thoughts are, so let me know down in the comments. But before you go... You can either subscribe, or you can have what's behind door number two. Which I'm supposed to keep secret, but I'll just tell you. Channel memberships! That's right, for only 99 cents a month, they wouldn't let us give it away for free, you can join the Renaissance! There's really no benefit to it other than a loyalty badge and to get a few emojis which will probably change over time. And of course, you don't have to. You don't even have to subscribe. Just watching this video is good enough. But if you did enjoy this video, please let me know by liking it or leaving a comment. That would really help me. Thank you for watching.